So, Mr. Mantis is eating a bumblebee currently. Um, and the bumblebee is all covered in pollen. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Bumblebee, but Mr. Mantis needs to eat. And the regular pests aren't coming around. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. I think two days since I've actually been out to the garden. And I noticed last night as I was coming home from walking the dog that my herbs needed to be watered. So I just watered my garden. Well, the pots. Not the, uh... Not the in-ground garden, because that seems to be doing fine. And I'm looking down and the soil does look very moist. Um, I did notice I've got a spider hanging out in the corner. He's going to eat the stuff that wants to eat my tomatoes. And I did notice that these guys have a different shape on this plant than they do over there. So I'm thinking that Anna has a couple different kinds of tomatoes. So we will find out. And the pepper is still hanging out. And of course, you know, the sugar cane is doing what the sugar cane does. Her beans, however, have been just putting out new growth after new growth after new growth. And whatever that is down there. We will find out shortly. So, uh, yeah. It's not the prettiest of sights, but it's the end of the season and it's the herbs, and I'm surprised that they're still kind of hanging around. But then again, it is 80 degrees and it's the end of September. And Mr. Mantis has decided to eat a bumblebee. Yeah. <sighs> but the mint and the chives are also hanging around. So. I still have bean flowers starting up on this plant and beans growing on that plant. And I have one pepper right here that's still growing on my green bells. I have an open flower on my Cubanelle plant that I am pollinating and pollinating and what looks like a spider mite. Oh boy. Yeah. And then the jalapenos have turned into this sea of red. I've got a red jalapeno I'm gonna pick over there. I've got a couple jalapenos I'm keeping here for seeds. I've got one, two, three, four, five that are still green up top. And down bottom, I have a red one, two green ones, and a small itty bitty green one. And even the green ones that need ripening up are starting to turn red. And like I said, the tomatoes, they keep putting out trestles and they keep producing tomatoes even though they have blight I mean it's amazing look at all these trestles and you can see it's coming from blight infested areas but it's just outgrowing the blight so hopefully the beefsteaks will start ripening up soon too. And I have another spider web right there. Apparently it's spider season. Yeah. Coming over to the Cubanel. Yeah. It's doing what it's doing. And we move on to the green bell pepper. And my father-in-law informed me that this branch that was holding my second green bell he found on the ground next to the pots. So we don't know what's going on here, but 
we will find out. The whole branch is gone. So either it snapped from the weight of the one pepper, or somebody broke it on me. Yeah, such is the luck. So, and of course this one's just rotting away. That's the one with the damage I've been showing you. That something was burrowing into. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's time to pick these peppers and, yeah, time to pick these peppers and bring them inside and hopefully I'll have enough by the end of the week so that Sunday I can dry them out. Oh, look, I didn't even notice this little baby one up here. So this is my end of the season garden. As you can see, the uh, cucumbers have completely dropped dead, so Sunday I will be taking this whole shenanigans down, uh, storing the bamboo and the PBC down in the basement, and ripping the cucumbers up. Yeah. So, I'm still pollinating the flowers. Yep. And I'm going to be overloaded in tomatoes, but that's okay. I can make sauce or something with it. And these guys just get eaten as is, so I'll see you back later. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. I know that I just clipped out, but I wanted to see if I could show you this. There is a spider eating a caterpillar on this jalapeno, and I'm trying to get the lighting right. Yeah. So not only do they eat the bugs, but they eat the caterpillars too. It's fantabulous.